is happy Wednesday. So today is basically a normal day, a, a normal Wednesday. And um, excuse my hair, I washed it yesterday. Didn't have time to do anything to it. Didn't get to style it anything. So it looking a little, a little bushy. But we will accept what we have. Um, yeah. So today is Wednesday. Have a little errand to run. I'm going to drop off an application for a job, which I've been procrastinating for a while now. I'm supposed I was supposed to get a job from since from since me and well that didn't work out because I wanted to enjoy my summer vacation and then I was like you know what girls you should go and look forward because your little extra change will come in handy. <laughs> Today we have a lot of stuff to do. First on our agenda is mommy wants to go to the doctor. She wants to get a little checkup done. So after the doctor, we're gonna head to I think Price Mart. If not Price Mart, after Price Mart, we're gonna head to some home decor stores because we renovate in the upstairs of our house and we need decor. So we're gonna do that as well. Also, I want to head to Starlight Drugs in Marva because I heard there's a really wide makeup selection and um, I need makeup to fill my makeup kit because on Saturday I'm doing a bride, which I am excited for. I cannot wait. Um, I'm doing a bride, so I need a little bit of stuff to fill up my makeup kit. Um, also... 
some other stuff we were supposed to do as well so i'll take you guys along with me on that and today my outfit of the day is a bodysuit from mickles jeans are fashion over and shoes are from um shoe locker so yeah i'll take you guys along with me on today's journey and i hope you guys enjoy this so yeah
picking up stuff in Price Mart. I got a boo boo. Look at that. I put my hands into one of the shelves and the cans caught me. So, yeah. So, this video is especially for Kevin. He always says that Trinidad does not have Twinkies and Price Mart starting to bring it. So Price Mart bringing Twinkies and the cupcakes that he just bring for Mandy and it's eighty dollars. So we can get that Price Mart. <laughs> Smart. It's hamburgers made out of beef and they say there are 16 microwavable sandwich keep frozen and it's white castle and it's like mini sliders and I'm going to try it now. On this, oh no, the box open like this. Typical trini. You don't know how to open my box. Ooh, looking good. Two sliders in a pack. Pretty nice, right? Look at that. Nice. So me and my sister will share this. And I'll let you guys know it tastes. Okay, so I also went to Super Farm, but instead of going to um, Starlight Pharmacy in Maraval, we ended up going to Super Farm, which was a total bus because the bill came up to more than I expected. So these are the items I got from Super Farm that was, to me, highly overpriced, but it's really an easy place to go and get everything that you could if and it's really close by to me so I didn't have a choice um I bought this coconut oil from suave I use this while straightening my hair to get a more silky smooth finish I bought makeup removing wipes for my client on Saturday you need a good pack of wipes I bought this and I paid $44.49 for that pack of wipes I also bought a pack of lashes, a variety pack with five pairs of lashes in the style Kegel. And this is from Kenzie Beauty. These lashes cost $60, which to me was overpriced. I could have got same kind of lashes like this for like 
30 something dollars but i didn't have a choice so i had to get it but they look really beautiful though so i mean i had to test this out hi guys so i just wanted to clear up something i know earlier in the earlier clips i had said that for the kenzie beauty lashes i paid 50 dollars and that was overpriced but in reality come on five pairs of lashes for 50 dollars that's a steal of a deal ten dollars per lash you can't go wrong I was just little I was just a little caught up in the moment with anger as to that I paid six hundred and fifty three dollars for those little bit of items. It was kinda hurting me a little bit. But um as I sat down and I felt the quality of the lashes and whatnot, to me it's worth the money. So yeah. I just wanted to clear that up. I got the Master Chrome highlighter. This was seventy something dollars master chrome yeah this was 80 dollars i got a real technique sponge because you need new items when doing someone's face it's not sanitary to use items that you are using all the time on your face always like beauty blenders and whatnot always repurchase new ones ever so often um this was i'm not seeing the price for this here Mm, I'm not seeing the price for this, but I'll have to look for that. I got this. This is an eyelash applicator tool. I've always wanted one of these. I heard it makes applying lashes a lot easier. Yes, this. I also got this mascara. I use this all the time, and I love how it works. So I bought this as well. I got this eyeliner. It's a brush tip eyeliner, which I rather use when using glitters or anything. It's easier to use this type of eyeliner, and it's from L'Oreal. I paid $66. I got two Jordana pencils, a blue for under your eyes, for the eyes, and a red lip pencil for in the shade a red lip pencil in the shade plum i think yes plum and this in the color blue divine i also got some disposables which is a must when doing a client's makeup is a must you're not supposed to so for this i'm not going to use the brush from this you dip this brush into this and it's more sanitary that way this is a lipstick applicator as well i got these two to use i kind of know the shade of the client that i'll be doing on saturday so i bought l'oreal true match which to me is the best foundation it's easy to blend and it dries pretty quickly and it's long lasting and it gives a really nice finish i got it in the color or oh, in the shade come on I got it in the shade Fresh Beige W4.5. I also got the powder to it in the same color. And all this stuff, well not all, these three items cost me